What is up, YouTube? Yu-Gi-Oh! 99 here, and today I'll be doing uh, another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Time Machine for you guys. First of all, I'd like to uh, say sorry for the late update upload today because I just really didn't have time and I just kept procrastinating the upload, so here is the upload for today. Um, so, another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Time Machine. I love doing, making these. Um, I don't get much feedback for this, but if I could get five likes on this one, it would be really amazing and um, that would help out a lot. So, uh, today, this, uh, well, if you're not... Um, if you don't know what this segment is, is where I pick a set. Uh, I pick a set today. The third set of Yu-Gi-Oh spell ruler or magic ruler, as it was, as it was called before. Well, I I have already done the two last sets or the two first sets. Sorry, um, Legend of Blue Eyes and Metal Raiders. But today I'll be doing spell ruler for you guys, and um, I'll be trying to go through as many as I can in the future episodes. So without further ado, let's jump right into this set. So um, this is spell ruler. Spell ruler is the third set that came out, as I've already said. Uh, there's, the set includes two secret rares, ten ultra rares, ten super rares, seventeen rares, and sixty-five commons. So pretty standard stuff. And um, yeah, so the, here's the card list. You can come check this out at Yu-Gi-Oh! Wikia if you are interested. And it's the first set to include uh, quick play spell cards, which is a big, um, which was pretty a pretty big event since they could be set like traps and activated like traps. So it's really cool. Um, and they're still used a lot to this day. And I think that's basically everything on this page. Um, the cover card is Relinquished, which I will, will be the first card that I'll be talking about in the set. Relinquished is a very fun card to use. If you guys don't know what it does, it's basically uh, you take control of one of your opponent's monsters and Relinquish gains the attack and defense. So it's, an, it's a good card. It's not very good today, but it is still really fun to play with. Um, so pretty complicated effect, but it basically you take control of one of your opponent's monsters and it gains that attack and it's equipped to it. So, um, the first secret rare in the set is, well here, let me just switch these, okay, is Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Uh, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon is, well, Toon, uh, Toon monsters were introduced in this uh, set as well, so Blue Eyes Toon Dragon is the main Toon guy, and he's still played to this day in Exodia decks, um, and yeah, so, interesting card, I really like the Toon monsters, they look really cool, and um, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon is just an awesome card. Next we have, oh, sorry, Serpentite Dragon. Serpentite Dragon um, sadly does not see much play these days, but it was the other secret rare in the set, and I mean, it's like not even that good. It's a seven star for twenty three fifty. Like Blue Eyes White Dragon, come on, people. Um, it came in this um, starter deck, so this thing was just basically for. I mean, it's got a really nice picture or a really nice art, should I say? And the card itself is really cool. Um, the picture, at least. I mean, the card itself is really not playable. Next, we got Mystic Tomato. Uh, Mystic Tomato came out in this set originally, uh, as well as all the recruiters. But if I had to choose one recruiter that's played the most these days, it is Mystic Tomato because he is so versatile with his special summoning one dark 1500 or less attack when he's destroyed by battle. Um, yeah, so Mystic Tomato still sees a lot of play these days, and it's still a really good card. Next, we got uh, the only trap in the whole set. Well, that at least I was doing research, and that's what people said is Spellbinding Circle, and Again, the the set is called Spell Ruler, so only being one only being one set uh, trap in the whole set um, doesn't makes quite a bit of sense. So it's uh, select one monster your opponent controls. It cannot attack or change its battle position when this monster is destroyed. Destroy this card. So it's kind of like an early Phoenix chain if you want to put it that way. It's it's a fun it's it's a very nostalgic card. Um, again, Phoenix chain is much better than this card, but it it is it was still pretty good in the day back in the day. Next we've got Delinquent Duo, and we're going into the spells, and there are a lot of spells in this set. This set is mostly spells, so hence the name Spell Ruler. So uh, this is Delinquent Duo. Delinquent Duo is banned, and it's been banned for a while. Um, it's basically you pay a thousand life points, you select randomly one card from your opponent's hand and discard it, and your opponent selects one card from their hand and discards it. So it's basically they discard two cards at the cost of a thousand life points, which was really, really good. Next we have Snatch Steel. So Snatch Steel is a uh, well, it's you pay a thousand life points uh, during each of well, you take control of one of your opponent's monster and, and equip this card to it, and your opponent uh, gains one thousand life points for every standby phase of this card's activated. Now, or this card's face up in the field, should I say? Now, the problem with this card is why is it so broken? Is because usually when you'd activate Snatch Steel, you'd use the monster in the same turn that you'd activate it, so you'd basically get a free monster from your opponent's side of the field. It was really broken, and that's why it's banned. Next we have Painful Choice. Painful Choice was just really too good because um, what it does is select five cards from your deck and reveal them, and your opponent, um, um, them to your opponent. Your opponent selects one card among them, add, add that card to your hand and discard the other card. So first of all you get a automatic um, neutral card, plus 
you get to put four card monsters in the grave. Um, in Chaos Strikes decks, this, uh, the, basically it's like um, Future Fusion for Chaos decks, and um, this card can go in any deck, and it's just really too good because you can just send four monsters to the grave and kind of win from there. Um, it's a too easy Grand Soil, too easy Dark Armed, it's too easy for everything. Next we have Giant Trunade. Giant Trunade is banned as well. I'm um, just kind of going through all the banned cards to start with. Um, Giant Trunade is return all spell and trap cards on the field to their owner's respective hands. Now, a lot of you might be saying, why is this card banned and not Heavy Storm? And I wondered that for a long time until I finally kind of got the meaning of this card. This card is so good because you can activate Giant Trunade even when you have spells on your side of the field and not go minus. Because you can, when you activate Heavy Storm and you have two set spell and trap cards, um, it, you go really minus, but with giant true nade, you just get them back to the hand. And even if you don't put, if you push for game and it fails, like let's say he drops a gorse, you still have your spell and trap cards in your hand, so you can still have plays for the next turn. It's really, really too good, and I'm happy that it is banned. But I mean, it could come back if heavy storm leaves, and we maybe lose like an MST or something. Next, we have upstart goblin. It is draw one card, then your opponent gains a thousand life points. It's a very uh, infamous card in. Exodia and Final Countdown, and um, it came out in this set originally, and it's a really cool, fun card. Next we have Messenger of Peace, one of the best stall cards in the game. Um, now our player can declare an attack face up monsters that have 1500 or more attack. During each of your standby phases, pay 100 life points to destroy this card. Now, again, it works against XCs, unlike level limit area uh, B, so yeah, it's really good, and um, it's played in almost every Final Countdown deck, and it's really annoying, honestly. And really nice art, by the way. Next we have Mystical Space Typhoon came out in this set. So this card has seen infamous play. Infamous play. I'm not sure if that's a figure of speech that is grammatically correct. But anyways, Mystical Space Typhoon has been used so much over the years. Target one spell or trap card on the field and destroy that target. Since this format is known to be a very back row heavy format, then this card has been seeing a lot of play. And we have Black Illusion Ritual right here. Black Illusion Ritual um, is the ritual spell card that um, brings in uh, Relinquish, so that's why I just put it in here. Again, really good card. And finally, as our last card, we have Toon World. Toon World is pay 1,000 life points to activate this card. Again, Toon World is needed to bring out Toon Monsters, so again, really good card and really needed in Toon decks. So, um, my thoughts on, this, on uh, Spell Ruler is that a lot of really like infamous cards have come out of this. Um, a lot of banned cards. <laughs> a lot of banned cards. And yeah, it's, um, it's not as nostalgic to me as uh, Legend of Blue Eyes and Metal Raiders, but it is still a really fun, important set in the game to, till today. So leave in the comments below what you think of Magic or magic or Spell Ruler, if you were around in the day, how this affected the game and your opinion. And also leave in the comments below, um, yeah, just leave that in the comments below, yeah, I had something else in mind, but then I kind of left me. So uh, remember to like this video, uh, remember to subscribe, subscribe button right up here. Um, if you could do so, that would really help me out. Um, I'm an up-and-coming YouTuber, and I need more subscribers. So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.